phase of a big renovation project at the Everhart Museum in Scranton is now complete. Before the community gets its first look tomorrow, we got a sneak peek today. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Dable is live outside the museum to show us the transformation. Eric. Mark, good evening. This museum has served the city of Scranton since 1908. Over the last 110 years, time has certainly taken its toll. But with the help of $220,000 in state gaming money, this place now has a whole new look. Three. City and state leaders helped workers at the Everhart Museum cut the ribbon on a major renovation project Friday. Calling this facility a jewel of Scranton, museum staff expect visitors to be surprised. It's a fresh new look. It's, um, it's a modern, updated look of how museums should be. The most dramatic change can be seen on the second floor. This is what the main gallery area used to look like, with blue walls and old carpet. This is what it looks like now. It's a change from top to bottom, from fixing the peeling ceiling, adding new lighting, and restoring the original floors. You hear the oohs and the ahs for people that haven't been for 25 years when it wasn't redesigned. So once they see the redesigned museum, it's going to create not only a buzz in the community, but people will be thrilled. Another big change is the museum's classroom space. 7,000 kids used to be cramped in a basement. But now, the space has moved to the first floor and more than doubled in size. We've been able to almost um, triple our capacity for students. We've been able to add additional classes. Adult classes will be running throughout the year. With a new look and a new logo, workers want the community to rediscover the Everhart. Even though phase one of renovations are now complete, they're already thinking about phase two, adding technology and fixing up other areas. We're going to be working on updating the bird and the fossil rooms next. So there's always projects that we're working on. The Everhart Museum here is holding its free community day tomorrow from 1 p.m. until 4 p.m. Everybody is invited to come on down and check out the changes. There will also be a lot of activities for the kids. We're live tonight in Scranton. Eric Dable, Eyewitness News. Hard to believe the changes, Eric. Thanks. The Everhart Museum will also now stay open later on Thursdays until 7 p.m. to help bring in more people.